I'm just going to take you through the procedure for setting servo positions on the Omni TX3 transmitter. So first of all we'll just turn the demonstration model on and then you notice I haven't turned the power onto this but we can now just to show you what happens when we turn each of the knobs. First of all we have servo 1 which is a full travel knob you can stop in any position. Servo 2 is the same. And these would be used for typically for a full travel reverser or regulator valve or maybe a gas valve, uh, drain cocks. There's a whole number of things, but those would be the, the normal uses. Then we have servo 3, which is controlled by these two buttons. And then if you press 1 and then 2, it takes it full travel. If you press 1 twice, then it takes it halfway. And the same with button 2. takes it. So you can use that for a reverser or also for drain cocks or maybe a bypass valve. Servo 3, sorry, Servo 4 is on button 3, which is a momentary full travel servo, ideal for something like a whistle. Or again, could be used for drain cocks by pressing and holding while you want the cocks to be open. So now we're going to show you how to alter the settings. One of the common questions is how do I, re how do I reverse the servo? Well, reversing the servo is simply the same as setting the end positions in the normal manner. So first of all, we need to go into calibration mode. And that's done four different ways, depending on which servo we wish to adjust. And it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you simply turn the power off. Now, if you want to calibrate servo one, we hold button one, power on, loose button one and press it two more times. As you can see straight away, servo one has jumped. We can now control it with the S1 knob and that's always the same. We always control calibration with the S1 knob. And then we control which position we're calibrating by the buttons one and two. As you can see, it's currently flashing one flash. If I press button two, it will then flash two flashes. And back again, I can press button one to take it back to one flash. One flash sets the initial position of the server. And as you can see, I could set the initial position to be there. That would be full trouble, or I could set it just in a little bit. Let's say, let's calibrate it to the edge of the server body. So that's the first position we want. Then we set that by pressing button 3. <coughs> we then move to the end position of the servo by pressing button 2. Again, so we get two flashes. It's the end position. And then we use the same knob. So then I want the second position to be the other edge of the servo in this case. In your case, you might wish to have the regulator valve fully open or wherever you're controlling. So we've set the position and again we set it with button 3. And then we, we need to come out of servo 1 calibration because we want to do the others. So we simply turn the power off and back on again. And you notice that servo 1 jumps immediately. And now look, the trouble is just to the edges of the servo. The full trouble in the knob is being used for that distance. And also the, the, tr the, the knob is matching the direction of travel of the server. So I'll just show you how to reverse that. <coughs> In case you weren't watching the first time. We'll go off. We'll go into calibration for server 1, which is button 1. Power on, release, two more times. And then we set the first position. This time I'm going to reverse it by going first position is the right hand side of the server one flash, so we set that, go to two flashes, set the second position of the servo, button three, turn it off, back on again, and you notice now the servo is going the opposite way to the knob, but still going to the edges of the servo <coughs> where I set it. 
I won't do servo 2 because that's exactly the same but on button 2. But servo 3 is a little bit more difficult because you've got to press buttons 1 and 3 at the same time and put the power on. So power on, release those, then press button 1 two more times. That didn't seem, oh, it did work. <laughs> I didn't think it was working, but it did. So there we go. Um, but Servo 3 has a slightly different situation. It has a two end positions and a mid position. So I want to set the start position. And I'll set it again at the start of the servo body. Set. And then we move on to the second position. So we get the two flashes. I want that to be in the middle, level with, level with the hole at the top. It's a bit lively, this one. There we go. We'll set that. And then we move on to the third position. I've, jumped, I've missed it, didn't I? There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we set the end position on the other edge of the servo. Like so. Off, back on again. And now servo three goes from the edge to the edge and then back to the middle. Okay. And the same for servo four, except that only has two positions. And again, it's slightly more complicated to get into it because we have to press two and three together. Power on, release, one, two. So now we're controlling the servo. No, we're not. <laughs> we just missed it. I'll try again on that one. Hold buttons two and three. So therefore, there you go. I was just slightly too slow on pressing button one. <clears throat> so now we're in calibration for servo four. And I'll, in this case, you can see that it's, the, it's going, it, well, I can say it was going the opposite way to the knob, so this time I'll set it so that the start position is over here. Full travel. Flash, one flash, that's set in the first position. And I'll move it all the way to the other end. Now two flashes, that's set in the end position. Turn the servo off, back on again, and there you'll see that servo four goes full travel left to right. I hope that's a help, and if any problems, give us an email or give us a call.